Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Marina, I'm from Oregon, and today we're gonna to be installing trailer wiring on this Hyundai Elantra. If you're towing a trailer at all, it is required by law that you have lighting from your vehicle to your trailer so you can signal your turns and your stops. So we're gonna get that installed today so that we can tow with this Elantra. Let's get started. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. This wiring kit, we have a total of four attachment points. We have one that'll be behind the driver's side tail light, one behind the passenger side tail light. We have a ground wire, and then we have a battery power wire that we're gonna run from the rear to the front where the battery is located. So first we're gonna get started by removing this interior trim paneling to gain access to both of the tail light wiring. So we're gonna start by removing this floor panel here. It just has a little hand loop and lifts right up and out. Next, we're gonna remove this panel here right at the edge of the door. We have three clips that are on the inside here. One's right in the center, and we have the one on each side here. For that, we're gonna use a trim panel removal tool. I'm gonna to start on the passenger side clip here uh, with this tool so I can get under that clip and pop it right out without damaging the interior panel here. So we just slip it right under. and we'll pop that piece right out and repeat with the other two. And we're just going to lift up on it because we do have some clips right underneath it here. And now that's out of the way. So next we're gonna remove both of these interior side panels. On both of them, we have three 10 millimeter bolts along the bottom, and then three plastic clips here along the top. So I'm just gonna use this electric drill with a 10 millimeter socket to get those bolts out first. So now that I have the two bolts removed on the driver's side, I'm gonna take out the remaining two on the passenger side. Now we have all of our bolts removed and we're gonna remove these plastic clips. We have three on each side and we're just going to pop them out using this trim removal tool so that we don't damage anything. Okay, now we have all the fasteners removed on the passenger side. And just pull this panel. And we don't quite have to remove it all the way because all we need to gain access to is just this connector here. So we're just gonna leave it in the vehicle as is. Now we're just gonna remove the remaining three clips on the driver's side. And pull that panel just enough out of the way to give us enough access to this connector right here. So we have our wiring kit here. We're gonna send the side with the yellow and brown wire onto the driver's side here. For now, I'm just gonna leave all of that in the wheel well there. And we're gonna disconnect this connector here. There's a tab on the other side. You just push down and it unplugs really easily. And we're gonna connect this end of our connector here. Click that right in. And clip it right in. Nice and easy. I'm gonna tuck this box so it's gonna live behind this panel here. And remove the packaging for our passenger side wire, which is going to be routed right along the rearmost of the trunk compartment here. And it'll be hidden by the trim panel that we removed earlier. So 
So just like we did on the driver's side, we're gonna reach on the back of this connector, press that tab in, disconnect it, and plug it right in to our quick connect here. So next we're gonna attach our ground wire, which is this white wire here. We're gonna use this self-tapping screw in our electric drill to connect it. Nice and low down here so that this box has a nice place to sit behind this pan trim panel here. You wanna make sure that's nice and tight so you don't have a loose ground, which can lead to some electrical problems. So next we are just about ready to start running our power wire. We have a few options for ways that we can do this. Uh, if you look in here, we have a plug there in the body. We also have this vent, but uh, the best way we think and the way that we're gonna do it is we're gonna use that plug right there. We've already got wires running through. We know it's away from the exhaust, anything hot or anything that's gonna move and mess with that wire. So what we're gonna do is connect a longer wire to this slip it underneath this panel and run it out through that grommet there. So as you can see, this wire connected to our module there is already stripped. We're gonna strip just a little bit of the casing off of this longer wire and connect them with this butt connector that came with the kit. So cut off just enough there to expose that wire. Insert it into that butt connector there. Make sure it's nice and tight. I like to give it a good tug just to make sure it's gonna stay secure. And then we're gonna crimp it onto this wire here as well. Again, tug on it, make sure it's gonna stay put. And for now, the rest of this wire, I'm just gonna slip it under that panel. And leave that right there for just a moment. So now that we have most of our wiring connected, we're going to put most of the interior panels back in. We're just gonna leave the floor piece out so that we can get that power wire through. But we're gonna put everything else back in place for now. I'm gonna start with the driver's side here. Just tuck that back in under the trunk seal there. Make sure it lines up with our plug holes. This four flat is going to live in the tire well there, so it's perfectly fine to stick out from under this panel. And I have our 10 millimeter bolts from before. Then I'm going to reconnect right here. And then we'll insert these three plugs here. And we'll do the same on the passenger side. So for reinstalling the passenger interior side panel, we're just gonna make sure it's completely back into place behind this trunk seal here. And we're gonna reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts that we removed earlier. And then 
these three plastic clips along the side here. And lastly, we're just gonna put this interior panel piece rack right here. So we're gonna reinstall this piece that goes right here. It's gonna cover all our wires so they look all nice and clean. Just make sure that as you're installing it, these four blue clips all fit into these four holes here. You're just gonna make sure it's lined up and look at it from this side like this. And then just press down from the top and you'll hear them click into place. We just have three clips left, one in the center and two on the sides. That just press right into place. So we're just going to just enlarge the hole that's in that grommet there so we can just get our power wire started and then we'll access it from underneath the vehicle. So from here, you can even pick it up a little bit just to see it slightly better and make sure you're not cutting those wires that are going through already. And then just carefully cut and now we're all the way through there. We're just gonna start this wire here, going through that grommet, just enough so we can pull it out the other side. And we can reposition this when we're ready to put this floor panel back in. First, we're gonna go ahead and back the vehicle up and get it all the ramps so we can access the underside of the vehicle. So we're under the vehicle. We found our wire that we ran through that grommet earlier. And we're just going to run it through so that we have all the length coming out. And as you are planning your route for your wire from the rear of the vehicle to the battery, you just want to be careful to avoid any moving parts, anything that's going to be hot, um, especially keeping it away from this exhaust that's going right down the center of the vehicle on this one. Uh, what we're going to do is just follow the path of this brake line here because right here it's really accessible. It's away from every, anything that's going to harm this wire and damage that circuit. And the brake lines, you'll see this in a moment, go underneath this cover, which keeps it away from any moving parts. It'll keep it nice and secure and clean and dry. And that's the path we're gonna take on this vehicle. So we're gonna start running our wire now that we have a good path. Um, right now, I'm just going to take it above. So it's gonna go along with this brake line here. I'm just gonna pull the length through for right now. And then in a moment, once we have it at the length that we want for this particular location, we'll get it zip tied and secured so that we can move further up the vehicle. I'm gonna put a zip tie right here on this brake line. So that'll keep it nice and tight and away from this spring and anything hot. Next, I'm gonna bring the end of my wire a little further up the vehicle. We're gonna go right along the path of the rest of the brake line alongside the fuel tank here. There is a little clip mounted to the side of the frame rail underneath here and I'm gonna go above that. So it'll just help keep everything extra secure. Sometimes it can be a little hard to see what you're doing but just go slow, be careful and just pay attention to where you're routing your wire and what's around it. I'm just reaching up to the front of the fuel tank to meet my wire as I'm passing over this clip here. I've got it. Now we're just gonna pull the length of it through You want to be careful not to put too much tension as you're pulling it through, otherwise it can kind of get stuck between components that are really hard to access up there. So like I said before, just be patient, be gentle with it, and just pay attention to what you have going on in front of you. Perfect. And I'm going to add one more zip tie right up here where we have this brake line secured before we go into this panel. Sometimes it can be helpful to kind of crease the zip tie a little bit just to give you some bend when you're in a tight spot like that. Perfect. 
So now we're secured right there. Then we're gonna move further up towards the front of the vehicle. The front of the fuel tank here and give it another pull over this line here. And I'm gonna give it one more zip tie to this brake line before we drop this panel and move it closer to the front of the vehicle. Make sure your wire is nice and snug before you tighten it down so you don't have anything sagging in the back that you're not paying attention to. Okay, now we're ready to drop this panel here to give us some access to a clear, safe path to the front. So we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket in our electric drill to just lower part of this panel here and get us access to this path. And that's all we need to gain access right here. We're gonna route the wire just between this case for the brake lines and where this little rail is here. Um, so I'm gonna start running this wire down this channel here. Um, we're not gonna need to use any zip ties just while we're beneath this panel because the wire is gonna be between this channel here for our brake lines and this rail that's secured by the fasteners we just removed. So it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna get tangled, and it's not near any heat. So we're just gonna bring the wire up, pull it all the way up along this channel here. As far as we can go, while we're still protected by this cover. You can see it's staying within that nice, safe channel there. So this is as far as I'm gonna run the wire underneath the vehicle, cause I'm up against the firewall now. So I'm just going to reattach this panel here so it keeps my wire in place, nice and safe. And then I'm gonna run a wire in from the top of the engine compartment to pull the rest of this length up through closer to the battery. This is the last fastener we removed. And then we're gonna get out from under the car and go pull that wire up through the engine compartment. Okay. So this is why we were following those brake lines. Um, the reservoir is right here next to the positive terminal where we're connecting that wire that we were running beneath the vehicle. So if we follow those brake lines, they come up right to this reservoir which is neighboring our battery there. It is the easiest and the safest route as well. So what I'm gonna do is just send this wire down through the engine compartment, right along those brake lines. And that's where we're going to connect our power wire. We're just using this as a tool to easily bring that wire up through the engine compartment. So I'm back underneath the vehicle one more time. All we're gonna do is just connect this gray wire I just fed from the top of the engine compartment. And we're just gonna tape it to our power wire that we ran from the rear of the vehicle, just to secure it. We'll just tape these two together here so that we can use that gray wire to pull the black wire up through the engine compartment. It'll be real quick and easy. Okay, we're gonna go back up on top and pull this through. Right, we're back at the engine compartment. I've got my gray wire in hand, which we've just taped to the black wire down beneath the vehicle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and gently pull that up through the engine compartment. There's the end of it, and I'm just gonna pull up the rest of the slack now. Because we don't want anything dangling that could get caught somewhere and ruin our circuit. 
Perfect, so that is all of the length of our wire. We're gonna trim it just a little bit. Our positive battery terminal on this vehicle is under this nice little cover here. And so we're just gonna get a couple more pieces to connect to this wire, but we're just about done. Okay, so now that our black wire is all the way up from the underside of the vehicle, we're gonna get our fuse holder ready. Um, we've already trimmed this just a little bit, um, but for right now, I am going to strip the end of it off. I'm going to crimp this eye hook on and we're gonna connect it to this terminal here. But I think the way to make that look the best is this little box that keeps that terminal nice and tidy is actually open on this underside here. So I'm just going to feed it up through here. And then from there, I'm gonna crimp this eyelet on. And I'm being very careful not to touch the negative battery cable. If you're doing this at home and you're a little squeamish around working around electronics, I would go ahead and disconnect that negative cable before you start touching this. But since we've done this a few times, we are just gonna use caution. So I'm gonna crimp this connector onto the end of my wire. And again, like I did before, just tug on it, make sure that's nice and tight. And then we're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket and our electric drill to take this nut off to make room for this connector there. Perfect. We have just enough room to make that work and it'll look nice and pretty when we're done. We'll go ahead and tighten that. Beautiful. And now our fuse holder is secure. There's currently no fuse in here. I'm gonna leave it that way until I've connected it with this wire. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this cover just so we don't accidentally make a connection between those two terminals. Now all we have to do is connect these two wires. I'm going to strip the end of this wire because we're gonna connect them with this butt connector. So we'll need to cut this black wire short and strip the ends of both of these so we can use this to connect the two. And that's beautiful. Just so I don't have this rolling around, I'm gonna crimp it on right now. Give it a good tug, make sure that's nice and secure. And now that I know how my wires are gonna sit, I think it would look good if I cut this black wire right about here. That'll give me just enough room to work with it and it'll look really nice when we're done. So our wire is cut. I'll worry about the excess in just a moment. I don't want to lose this wire because it's a little deep in the compartment there. Be careful using this tool in particular just because we do have cutters on the end, but I'm making sure that I'm not near anything that could get damaged. And we're gonna just strip the casing off of that wire. Perfect. Now that wire is exposed and we can insert it into our butt connector here. If those wires are looking a little bit frayed, you can pull on them, maybe twist it a little just so they're all in line and you're certain that they're all going into the metal piece inside this butt connector. And then get your crimpers on there. Make sure that's nice and secure. And always give it a tug to make sure it's tight. The only thing we're missing is just this 15 amp fuse that we're gonna insert into this fuse holder here. Make sure that's fully seated. And you can place that cover on top. And now this is nice and easy to access just in case you do ever need to replace that fuse, but it's not taking up a lot of space in your engine compartment. And it's a nice clean look. We can remove our excess wire here. We're gonna do one more quick step with two zip ties just to make sure everything looks really nice. And I'm just going to zip tie this wire 
around this line that's underneath here. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but just be patient with it. Okay, and then we'll put the other zip tie just on the other side of our inline fuse. And we can trim the ends of our zip ties there to give us that nice clean look there. So our last step is just to put the flooring in on the back here. And now we're all complete and I'll just show you how to access your wiring for when you're ready to tow a trailer. And it's really simple, we're just gonna lift up on that loop on the floor panel there. Our four flat is right here. And we are just gonna close it in the door seal here, which is perfectly fine, and I'll show you that in just a moment. You just close the chunk on it, and you can connect it to your trailer. You'll be ready for towing. And when you're ready to put it away, you just open your chunk again. Notice that wire is perfectly fine. There's not a scratch on it. It's completely safe to put it between that door seal there. It's made to do that and you can just stow it away in your spare tire compartment there. And you're all done. That's it, thank you so much for watching this wiring installation video and this Hyundai Elantra. My name is Marina, um, just have fun, be safe, and enjoy the outdoors. Thank you. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.